that's slightly slightly off center. What the fuck? No, stop. Oh, we're missing a fucking There. Hata. Uh, it's still fucking misaligned. What the hell? Maybe I just said the wrong one. There it goes. Dude, who is this? What fucking character is this? Nushi? Something? I've already seen this match. I know round three will start with a raw super one. I've already seen this match because um, I just tried to stream like three times and it said it was working and then didn't actually go live. And I didn't notice until like three minutes into the video when no one said anything. It was shitty. I was musing that Sean has almost... Most players have almost no experience, almost no like awareness of how Sean's tools work. And he's still like bottom tier. Like, you can still get lit up by the matchup if you don't really know how 12 works. But the thing about Sean is you can just fight him like he's Ken. And, like, it'll work. Like, you don't really need to know what most of his moves do. That sliding tackle is basically the only, like, serious gimmick move he has. Like, the wheel kick is, you just see it a couple times, you're like, oh, I can just high parry that. And then that's that. The roll, I guess you, 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 have, to, you have to know whether you can hit or throw the roll. Um... And then uh, the tackle is a blockable hit, but he can just whiff it and then grab you. So if you're focusing on the block, it's a little bit like a shittier version of T-Hawk's dive. Because you can just hit him out of either one. But like he can cancel into it, so there's a little bit of gimmick pressure there. It's honestly a bit like a Street Fighter V tool. It's a bit like Ken's step kick. But his overhead is really slow. But his super's alright. All three of his supers are okay. Super 1 is probably the best. Super 1 is generously the best. <laughs> but it's not like... It gives him a lot of EX, but it's not like the EX is even that good for him. Because like, what can he even do with the EX meter? The EX wheel kick is trash. EX tackle is trash. Roll has no EX. Uh, EX uppercut does basically the same thing as regular uppercut. I'm not even sure if it's invincible. And then what else? Oof. Does he even have another EX move? The annoying thing... Oh, it's Tatsu. EX Tatsu is okay. In fact, it's pretty good. It's faster than his normal versions of Tatsu. The cool thing about... um, I, I shouldn't say the cool. The annoying thing about Sean's Tatsu is that, unlike other Shoto Tatsus, you can't do it midair. Ryu's Tatsu midair is pretty good. Akuma's Tatsu midair is great. And Ken's EX Tatsu midair is fucking amazing. But Sean can't even, his Tatsu, because it's a different style, it's like the, oh no! Because it's like the Street Fighter EX style uppercut. No vid sound. It's there, it's just quiet. I have it quiet on my side, and it should be quiet on you guys' side too. There you go, that's a bit more audible. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
Well, what was I saying though? Even if you neutral jump out of a Makoto uh, command grab, uh, unless you're very few characters, Makoto can just parry your attack coming down. So you have to like not, you have to mix it up. Like you're in like a bad mix-up scenario even after like jumping out if you neutral jump. So most people just jump away. Compare this to like other grapplers in any other Street Fighter game. I shouldn't say any other. Like modern Street Fighter games. Um, where the command grab carries like more risk than fucking, you know, the reward it provides. Uh, no, the buff cup will not be on the beta, holy shit. Well, we could do that, couldn't we? Wait, could we actually do that? That sounds kind of fun. It has battle lounges, right? Alright, I'm going to tentatively say that Ed will not be allowed, though. Oh, maybe I should just allow Ed. This one doesn't have a number. Or rather, this this uploader doesn't put the numbers on there. The date is 16-12-15. Where 15 is the day and 16 is the year. And 12 is the month. Nice Japanese notation. Do you get him? Looks good. Makoto's a bully. I'm pretty sure that would have stunned him even if it didn't kill him. Pretty sure raw. Maybe not from that combo. Maybe you need double Fukiyage. But like raw super 2 from Makoto can just instantly stun Remy, I think. You don't need the fierce and you don't need the um, Karakusa, I think. I don't, don't quote me. Whoa. Meaty low forward from that far away. He had a mix-up there between either... Ooh, got him. Yeah, no dizzy from here. Not even that close. I think Mikado can technically dizzy anyone if her starter is jump around house stand fierce. Because that does more stun than Karakusa stand fierce. But of course, you can't get that many. You have to. It's very impractical to get that set up. Whereas the command grab setup is very, very practical. Backdash. This is a pretty good Makoto. <laughs> Who does low parry after I jump in? Especially on Hugo. That was nutty. He should be able to kill here with the super. He chose not to use it, which was definitely the correct play. I didn't think about it very hard. Or rather, I looked late. That was nice. Got the link. So one frame link after any dash punch. More of its um, crouching opponent. Which oftentimes it will be. Oh, the ultra throw. That was a failed either lariat or shoot down. Clap, shoot down. There we go. The ranges where Hugo can do that are actually, like, that's a big point of mastery for Hugo players. He can always do it in the corner. Well, the ultra throw will take longer for the opponent to bounce back to Hugo, which will allow different, like, you can do it at, at certain screen positions, besides just outside, besides just in uh, having a cornered opponent. Nice thing. He got the second round too, and he still lost it. That damage just doesn't look like that much on Hugo. Super One's got a nice long bar, but really it's not that strong. Like when you compare it to other bars of similar lengths, like uh, Ryushin Shoryu. I think Ryushin Shoryu does more anyway, and then you can also tag on an extra hit. It's a damn good thing though. Makoto Super One is good enough. I don't need it to be stronger too.
What balance change was they testing in the... It seems really early. Didn't KOF 2.0 just come out? Is it just the new characters they're looking at? I saw that the other day. Or like yesterday, I think. Or this morning. It was like um, a KOF like 2.01. I was like, what on earth? Didn't 2 just come out? Nice punish. Oh no. Redashed in as Makoto dashed in, but Makoto dashes so so fast. That was a towards fierce. That has a long active box, which is normally really good against Makoto, but the startup just nullifies however good it might be. He actually got it to land. You can't do anything afterwards. You've got a one frame link into EXDP, which, because of the way EXDPs work, because of the way EXs work, I should say, it's very difficult to actually piano uh, the EXDP. You see that dash in EX Firewall? Makoto's bullshit, dude. Makoto is honestly bullshit. Command grab can be guaranteed after an anti-air parry, but it depends on the height. That's you. Stay around house. Hmm. Ah. Ryu hanging on by a thread. Oh shit, it is May right now. May sounded all far in the year and shit. No follow up to Super here. He was way too far forward. Oh, that's his game. This is actually game. He's already won. <laughs> You get it? Ooh, nice parry. Hard DP. Hard Tatsu is generally better there. They both do the same damage, but Hard Tatsu has better corner carry and better Oki. It's kind of weird to see someone go for the DP. It's not like they're hard to time either. Reversal something. My Karakusa range, dude. I'm pretty sure Makoto's Karakusa works opposite every other command grab. Pretty sure she gets um, more range on the hard version. Dude, I've been watching Street Fighter for... I've been watching this game, Street Fighter 3, for like over 10 years now. Okay? Since like 2006. 2005. And um, I have seen literally one Sean do any work at all in all the time I've played this game. It was Tokido. You can probably find it if you just YouTube search Tokido Sean. It's not even... He beat some pretty good players, but... Well, it is good footage. He, like, actually uses all of Sean's tools and shit. Tokido went to a tournament where top tiers were banned. And, um... His main is Chun-Li, who was one of the banned characters. And his secondary, I think, is, um... Uh, Yurian. Or was Yurian. I don't know if he's played Yurian in years and years. And I don't remember if Yurian was one of the banned characters, but you got to pick three characters, but you couldn't pick top tiers. So, like, Tokido, for his first character, picked Sean. And then his second character was Ryu. And we never even saw his third character because no one knocked him to his third character. Presumably it was Yurian or Akuma or some shit. I don't know. That's honestly one of Tokido's, like, like very famous moments, although it's not well known outside Japan. You want all the characters that didn't come back in 4? I want all the characters who came back in 4. They picked good characters to appear in 4, I want those same characters again. What they did with Ibuki, like, made her from a very uninteresting character to a very interesting character. For me. Oh, 
If they're bringing Makoto or Dudley, who are already extremely popular characters, I'd be really curious and interested to see what the fuck they do to them. Well, I know exactly what they're going to do to Makoto because Makoto is a walking SF5 character already. If they bring back Sean, they'll have to bring back Second Impact Sean. I don't understand how Sean's buttons could make sense, but Shoto ones wouldn't. Since for the most part, Sean's buttons are the same as Shoto's, except worse. I like his close runhouse. If I recall, Ken actually had that close runhouse in uh, Omega Edition. Got him? Yup. That's parryable, but it's a bitch parry. It's like a very easy parry, it's just five high parries, and you can do it post freeze. But the problem is Ryu can hit you while you're trying to parry it, and if he hits you once, the super juggles after he hits you, so it's, you know, shitty. Not only that, but if he Tatsus, which already hits you while you're trying to parry it, um, if one of the hits of Tatsu hits you, it can hit you into the super, which resets your juggle counter, and then another hit of Tatsu can hit you, and it does more damage than the super by itself. So you basically need a god parry to get out of that. The parry will be different depending on what Ryu decides to do. He can even, I think, dash under you, depending on how you land on the super. My friends and I were talking about how Ed's buttons were going to work. And we were arguing, not arguing, you know, no point in arguing. We were guessing who would, um, whether he would be charge or button motion. And he ended up being kind of neither charge nor motion. If Makoto's, if all Makoto's unlearned Super 2, fucking raw Super 2, the world would be a better place. It is pretty cool. Overall, I like. I would have preferred the Eminem version of Ed, who was all skinny and had the uh, white hoodie. I know we got the white hoodie, but I liked skinny Ed. The design we got is all right. I don't like that every costume has a hat. I feel like they felt pressured to give him that little lick of hair because every costume had a hat and his hair wasn't distinct enough. So I wish that they hadn't given every costume a hat. I wish he had shorter hair. I in general like his outfits. I in general like his appearance. I just feel like I liked his appearance more than the first time I saw it. When he looked like a little fag boy. Um, his, the way he plays looks really tight. Looks like Nelson. Ooh, got him. A lot of jumping on both sides because I don't want to get grabbed. I hope there's some way to take the hat off. Maybe he would look too, look too much like Abel with short hair, but I kind of feel like that's the problem is that he he's ripped. They could have just made it like, you know, he's got psycho powers. That been that. Whatever, I don't care. He's alright. I don't dislike the design we got. One of his special moves is literally like towards medium punch. One is a mash motion with no motion, like, counterpart. One is multiple punches, one is multiple kicks. And then what else? Like a hard punch and you hold it. I wonder if that means you hold the button long enough it turns into a special move, or uh, if it means you have to release hard punch to do it. Oh, 
when the Omega characters came out and they were like three buttons to do a mash motion, I could do my mash motions 100% of the time, but I never got them on accident. I feel like three button, three presses is like the a fine amount. But they'll never do that. They'll probably do four or maybe five. I don't actually know how many it takes currently in SF5 for Chun Li or um, Colleen. I did it fairly easily with Chun Li. I like did her BNBs with the um, the uh, mash motion. I like fiddled around with that a little bit to see whether it was easier, more preferable when uh, season two first came out. And I could do it fairly reliably. Like I could, I could do stand strong, crouch medium kick, like hard legs with decent success rate. So it feels like it's probably four presses. Or else I was just, you know, it gives you a little bit longer to do it. Alright, everyone give me some opinions. Do we do Bath Cup on um, uh, using the beta? Battle Lounge is using the beta? Do we use it season 2.5 changes? What did Akuma even get in season 2.5? He got the DP buff, plus he got ooh, double DP. He got DP pl buff plus HP buff. Akuma will be net stronger. I'll be able to do reversal hard DPs during block strings if I want to die sooner. Hmm. Korean player says do it on regular servers. Initially I was just like, no, we should definitely do it on the regular servers, but now I'm kind of kind of entertaining the idea. If the lobbies won't work, that's a pretty good fucking reason not to. Don't my. Nice combo. I remember what don't my means. I think it's don't worry. It's not don't mind, but it sound. I think the root is don't mind. But like, it doesn't exactly mean what it was translated as. Oh no, he thought he was going hit, to get hit on the way up, I think. And then he like, wasn't ready on the way down. Or maybe Domai is not even fucking Katakana. Someone take this and run it through a translator. I think it's written like that. I think it uses Hiragana. I think it means don't worry. Do not mind. Hmm. Ooh. the crouching opponent. First set of that appears to cause four stand. I wonder if that means you always lose about the same damage. <laughs> what do they do to Street Fighter V for you to make him feel more like this for you? Besides Donkey Kick. <laughs> That close forward. I want him to have that close forward. Ever since SF5, F SF4 Omega, I wanted Ryu to have that button, but he doesn't have it in 5. Medium Tatsu hitting crouchers would be really nice for Ryu. I actually really want him to have that. That's something Omega Ryu had. It would do very little for Ryu because his main combo option is Crouch Furious, which is already damage optimal and force to stand. But it would allow him to whiff cancel a lot better. To be able to stand outside range and do low strong into medium Tatsu, and even if the opponent gets hit with their like crouching button, Ryu still combos. That'd be really neat. They should give him that. They should actually give him that. Right now, Ryu's only empty cancel tool is the X Tatsu. 
EX Fireball doesn't cancel from, or I don't think it combos from Light, which is Ryu's main, it doesn't do any, as much damage anyway, which is Ryu's main empty cancelling button, because it's got good range, and, well, it had good range, and, um, good speed, and a good hitbox. Interesting. He didn't get a stand roundhouse, he went straight to Machine Gun Blow, which meant it wasn't fast enough to actually punish. That's probably a mistake. Or maybe it's that he went for two parries or something, I don't know. So he's got a good normals, good normal placement. He's been alright about that since um, since round one. Nice. Pick up that knockdown. That's like the one combo where the super actually adds like a pretty good amount of damage. Everything else is mostly used for a hard knockdown. Dudley Super 3 is pretty weak. His meter is more for EX Machine Gun Blows than anything else. And hard knockdowns. The damage is nice. Low tier character from SF would be very strong given they kept their moves mostly intact. Oh Hawk. Oh Hawk would be busted in any other Street Fighter. Oh Hawk is like one of the most busted, but not. Ooh, look at all that! That's a very hard post parry, post freeze parry. It's one frame, so you have to parry basically twice before the freeze, or else you have to nail a one frame parry. So it's actually a pretty good anti-air. Not that it's hard to jump in and parry twice against Ryu. That's something you should do anyway. In case of uh, Stand Fierce, Stand Run House, or perhaps an EXDP, or perhaps a Crouch Fierce cancelled to something. Oh, Hawk would be utterly busted, dude. Oh, Hawk has no fucking whiff animation on his, uh. Ooh, nice. That was empty cancelled. Literally no whiff animation on his throw. He has a literally riskless throw. If the opponent is unthrowable, his throw just turns into normals. And if the opponent's unthrowable and he does it with a button up motion, he literally d commits to nothing. He literally does nothing. He doesn't even do a normal. Like, you can just block and do half circle. You can do half circle, like, up to, like, away, right? Or, like, like three quarter circle up to away. Like, after landing or during a block string or something like that, after a block string. And if the opponent is throwable, you'll throw them as you release the button. And if the opponent is not throwable, you'll just keep blocking blocking. Yo, I get pretty hype when I see fucking Shinshou Yuryu. You got it. You have to basically Tatsu as soon as you land to pick up that combo. That stun bar. Oh, that's it. That's a shame. Shinshou Yuryu is really cool. Twelve is an annoyer. I like that playstyle a lot. Very broken footsies, very low damage. Chun Li is oftentimes an annoyer. So is uh, Vega. Those counter pressure characters. Ooh, hard to punish that. A lot of crouching attacks like don't have that. There's no crouching flag in this game, so a lot of crouching attacks cause you to stand. Or not like stand animation wise. Like if you get hit out of them, you're still crouching. But like they're you're crouching with a taller hitbox, so sometimes you'll stand into a tattoo or something like that. I don't know what Dudley's buttons are. I know for a fact Aura has fucking nothing except his Onyama to hit a tattoo going over his head. Dude, has anyone else been seeing Punko playing Colleen? That shit is a match made in heaven. I think that crouch forward, I think he was going for... Like, watching for the parry, and then he was going to DP if he saw the parry, but he just was too trigger happy. Or maybe he was just going for a hard read. Ken can get good damage off a of meaty low if he does something like low forward EX DP. But the problem is that's unbelievably risky. But, like, it's still, like, a decent mix-up with his overhead. Neat. No, no way. Even with the max range one. 
It's not going to catch Ken's backdash, I didn't think. It's a good sweep. That was a good DP, holy shit. <laughs> DP come out trade with normals. Oh, he got the first two hits only. Because of the way the input priority system in this game works. Special moves take priority over normals or something. So even though DP is not invincible, it has a tendency to beat a lot of other attacks. Because it's fast and has a decent hitbox. <laughs> B-Trigger, um... <laughs> B-Trigger X copy would actually be pretty great because um, that would mean that it would have a non-redundant... It would have a different bar from his EX, which would mean he'd be able to copy someone and then EX move. That would actually be pretty cool. You can't do that in 3S. It's unbelievably specific for what it's worth. 12 has very few attacks that he can cancel that have enough hits done to, like, combo. He's basically got to do Axe, and then he's got very, very... He can basically link a Light. Any Axe hit, cancel to Super 3, and then link a Light. And linking Lights is not very useful in this game. Lights in this game are worse than they are in Street Fighter V, which is saying something. It'd be pretty cool if 12 just played a high damage version of the opponent's character for his V-Trigger. And then you can combo into it like you can do like Axe into fucking V-Trigger and then do like an opponent's combo. That'd be really neat. I'd love to see someone doing that in tournaments. Remember um, Shang Tsung players in uh, MK9? There's the statue that eventually gets replaced with a Fong statue. He shouldn't be dead. I think if you look on the CFN portal thing, it's like, you know, doesn't make any acknowledgments of him being dead. He left Shadaloo, that's it. He was just like, that ain't me anymore. Nice. Really good red parry. Low block, high red parry into command grab. Very, very strong option against everything Ken has. Overhead beats it, but the red parry works against um, the low jab from his low short, low jab, low short. And also works against his target combo. Makes two safe options unsafe. Two safe confirms, no less. Hard red parry though. Oh no. If the copy if the copy had like infinity X, that would be pretty strong. But he could just use the regular ass motion for their EX moves. Oh god. So that's the kind of character where I'd believe if you said he was 25 and I'd believe if you said he was 60. It's impossible to tell. Oof. 
Very tricky once Ken knocks you down. I think Chun-Li was born in 68, right? They had like dates. I seem to recall that one. There used to be hard dates on when all the Street Fighter characters were born. And until Street Fighter 3, until this game, or in, uh, until and including this game, um, Street Fighter games were just set in the year that they came out. So like Street Fighter 2 was set in like 87 or 89 or whatever it is. And um, uh, this game was set in 1999. But then Street Fighter 4 was an integral, so they stopped, stopped doing that. But Chun-Li in this game should be like 31. Something like that. Oh no. So got born in 55. Hmm. It's like 13 years older than Chun-Li. In his 40s. By uh, Street Fighter V. Dad got. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Remove Chun Li from the fucking game. Let's go. <laughs> Karada said something about Tekken Cross Street Fighter recently. It was like the world isn't ready for it. He was like, it's not cancelled, but um, we've got other priorities. Something like that. He said, been saying roughly that for a while. Did you get it? Aw, oh, I looked a little late. <laughs> Fucking Chun Li punish. Oh, here we are again. That was a super confirm. The fireball, I think, was unsafe. Ken could have punished that, pretty sure. And if he did, he would have won right there and then. Now he's in a really shit scenario. <laughs> nice. Double DP, one DP. I mean, let's be real. Tekken 7, they've been working on that non stop for like ages. Double DP doesn't require a car on cornered opponents. Why didn't that happen last round? Chihara, what's your interesting mechanic you didn't fucking tell us? Started out with a fireball, with slow start off, and every time he threw one and around it made the start off less and less. <laughs> that sounds kind of fun. Oh, he, he ex it the wrong way. That was a jump back. Didn't really hurt it. It, has, it hits on both sides no matter what, so... It just changed the angle a little bit. Um, yes, Universal Overheads. I don't know about free, because I don't think Universal... Universal Overheads are not Airborne Frame 1. But, um, you can jump over every command grab with a Universal Overhead. You can use that, like you can do a meaty universal overhead against fucking Hugo Super 1 and make it whiff. That being said, um, if he blocks it, he can punish you with the Super 1, so... It's by now. No, the meters. Ryu's having his fireballs parried. Chun-Li's building a lot more bar than Ryu's. 
歩いてきたところに違いがある。あの地上戦のあるあるですよね。はい、やられ方あるある、ね。なるほど。はい。いやさすがトミニよく見てますね。That's weird that Tommy's doing that. I've never seen another Chun Li player do that. Maybe the spacing makes the fireball a little bit safer. Very difficult scenario. Oh, he shook out. He just accidentally reset his own dizzy. Or rather, his own、uh, scaling. t h e r e are like a, not enough Street Fighter. There, like I can't even think of a single one, a Street Fighter character who levels up. Leveling up is a fairly common mechanic in other fighting games. I don't know about common, but I've seen it in most anime games. And you know, fucking even Mortal Kombat has had like、uh, what's his face? Whoa, one parry only. <laughs> He got dizzy with that killing blow. Um. Even MKX had like Kotal and his fucking Sun God. That one leveled up, right? I think there's some other level up characters in Mortal Kombat that I'm not thinking of. There's like Johnny, right? In Guilty Gear. He levels up. Oh. There's plenty of like Blaz Blue and Guilty Gear characters who like have resources that they can build, not just resources they start with, like fucking banging his nails, but like resources like、um, I don't know、uh, what's his face,、uh, Azrael and his fucking charges. Q taunts are like leveling up. That's a good example. Q is the character, and I guess、uh, Hakan and his oil. The real question you should be asking is, did I ever play Nitro Plus? And the answer, what the fuck for now? It's probably just an EX fireball he wanted to chase in, but he got an EX DP. Um, Nitro Plus Blasters is that game that I kind of want to play, but I don't want to play someone who's like too good at it. Or maybe I do want to play someone who's too good at it, provided they're also like coaching me. Technically, building this meter. Fucking whip some buttons, Oro. Building this meter is better for Oro than Ryu. Oro's meter is more useful. That taunt. That speeds up his stun recovery, which basically makes it harder for Oro to kill him. Or rather, harder to, for Oro to build a killing momentum on him. Nice, that was a punish. That's the second taunt. Ryu can store two taunts. His stun recovery is actually quite high when he has both. It goes down like double normal speed. But now it's being really, really hard to approach for an Oro player right now. Whoa. That makes up, dude. I don't even know if he predicted that or if that was just incidentally good. But he was doing low forward when Oro was doing early jump medium kick and it whiffed. There's no component in Street Fighter V of doing like early normals versus late normals. That's not true. There's a little bit of a component of that, but it's not a big one. You get like early jump medium kick from like、uh, Birdie and Singif. They have that mechanic. Huh. Didn't even trade. I thought Aura would be able to get the fireball out, then get、uh, hit by the super, but the fireball would come out disjointed or something. From that parry, he had to do a later attack. This is big.、Mm, no, it's not. It's not big because he went for stand forward instead of stand strong. That looked like he went for a low parry, but he got hit. That was punishable. Aura went for gold though. Oh, of all of all things, that was just、um, an accident on the Oro player's part, I think. Right there, you can do. Wow, brave! Right there, you can do a towards strong to punish the super for a really easy punish, but it he, it looked like he got a fireball, so he probably wanted like towards strong. 
But he, you know, charged back while blocking the fireball. And then didn't allow enough time to let the towards strong, like, release charge. Dude, we haven't had a Street Fighter character with a gun in a while. Remember Sharon? I remember Sharon. She was, like, the least picked character. Like, we had, like, a fucking... Every single Street Fighter character ever was in, like, a poll. Okay? On, like, who, like, people wanted to return. And Sharon got, like, near the bottom, and I was like, what the fuck? Sharon's cool. I don't understand why there's that many people who didn't want her. Like, she came in really low even compared to other Street Fighter EX characters. There are definitely a lot worse Street Fighter EX characters than her. Tier-wise and, like, design-wise. I think Sharon's pretty tight. Oh, I finally put um, SF4 on my 3DS. The frame rate's a little janky. It looks okay, though, I guess. It looks like the mobile game, to be honest. Why on earth did they even make that? That's such a strange thing. I like, don't want to hurt my 3DS's fucking buttons. Not that I just always manhandle my fucking controllers or anything. But I was nervous to try, like, blinking and stuff like that. It was like, be pushing the buttons in unusual ways. That was a nice combo. He has a lot of work to do. Skullo's design is pretty simple, and his gameplay style is pretty simple. Oh. You got Zangief for the one button uh, grounded super and ultra, right? That's pretty cool. Walk up super. Ow. New Leaf was pretty great. That was my first 3DS game. It was comfy, and then my favorite villager left, and then I could never will myself to play again. I think that's where a lot of Animal Crossing stories end. It'd be nice if you could convince people to move back, but I guess the point is, in the real world, sometimes you break contacts with people. I'd feel better about it if you could prevent it, but I didn't realize you could prevent it. Until it was too late. My favorite villager was Flo. It's always a villager you're not expecting to fall in love with. I saw Apollo, I was just like, you know, this bird is pretty cool. And then I talked to him for a while, I'm like, you know, this, this bird is really tight. Or like Whitney. Those are like original Animal Crossing characters. Flo was a cute. I liked the Uchi characters a lot. There's not enough quirks. There's only actually eight characters in Animal Crossing. Or is it ten? It's not many anyway. There's like lazy and snooty and normal and uchi and fucking cranky. And I forget. There's like four for boys and four for girls. Oh. 
<laughs> they still need charge? It's like inverted from all the existing charge characters. What about the charge character whose charge moves are better the longer you charge them? Capcom's done that before. It was um, the armor guy, Bishamon. In Darkstalkers. That's a good pickup. You got interesting little combos on Makoto because she's wide. Oh no. Probably won't hit. He went for a reset. He did not need that. I don't think Yan has a button that hits on that angle. I think it's only actual cross up. I think he can cross up situationally with hard kick, but it's like really specific. And it's only cross up besides that is the dive kick, which he might have been able to go for there. May Senkun does that? I didn't know that. That's actually like totally news to me. May Senkun are cute. Power to create powers is pretty good. Power to grant wishes. Power to grant my own wishes. I'd probably want some variety of telekinesis because you can do a whole lot of stuff with that. I imagine I could use my telekinesis for flight some way or another. And then I could also use it to move things. Which I'm sure would be useful for me some way or another. Alright, would you rather be able to lift um, 10,000 pounds with your arms or 100 pounds with your, um, with your mind? Fuck time stop, I want redo. I want bites the dust. Redo is like time stop, but better. Switch the places of two objects. Sounds like you need a lot of creativity for one like that. You get to play that game with the cup and the ball, with three cups and the ball, and then always win. You move them all slow and shit. Imagine all the pussy you'd get if it's like, hey, check it out, I'm like the world's strongest man. You could be more sneaky if you could move 100 pounds with your mind. You could move things without people knowing it was you. And you could also do it from far away. Let's do two more. Let's say you wanted to. Let's say you went to a professional basketball game and you made it so every single player's fucking pants fell down at the same time. You could do that. You could place a bet beforehand that that would happen. Yeah, I'd move benches. I would fuck with people. I'd move clouds and shit. How far can we? How far are we talking? Clouds can't be that heavy. Clouds are probably heavy as shit. I move them little pieces at a time. Dude, what are we talking about? Swapping things with other things. Could I like swap a cloud with like a steamroller to put like a steamroller like super high in the air? That overhead is really good. It's one of the best overheads in the whole game. <laughs> Wouldn't you then be in a safe? You'd have to swap your body with one dollar from the million dollars to get back. 
You get a net gain of um, $999,000. Swap frame with cars. Wow, shit. I mean, elephants are pretty heavy, but there aren't that many of them on Earth. Still, when you compare a number like that to one. Take a while to move a cloud. I guess clouds are really, 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 really fucking big. Dude, I read that fucking. I read that. Clouds can't be heavy, they're fluffy, dude. And for some reason, I, I really wanted Cool Whip. I was like, yo, some fucking pumpkin, pumpkin bread and Cool Whip sounds really good right now. That's two empty jump supers. This line needs to fucking mine his anti airs. I made some lasagna today, guys. I can't wait to show everyone. I don't know if it finished cooking. Like, give it kind of a long time, but like, it kept on like not looking really done. I might try and eat it later and have the noodles be like super fucking rough. Might have to eat around the noodles, which kind of defeats the entire point of lasagna. Who was the player? Tell me it was Dine. Dine has the best 12 I've ever fought. By far. I think he still plays since he's like one of the one of the mods of the fight cade. Ooh. Uh, Discord group. Ah, EX flash kick. Good reversal. Not actually a reversal. See how early that he had to parry that jump, that crutch fierce? I was in the fight K Discord, I don't remember if I still am. It gave me a bunch of notifications I didn't care about, so I think I might have left it. They might need the invite from someone else. I'll hear an idea of any fighting game based on third strike. Most people don't bother to predict uh, reversals in this game because it's not really. People don't really go for them very often and they have like low success rates even when you do go for them. And they're unbelievably risky. So, like, most people just like act like. The best way to play it is to act like your opponent doesn't even have a reversal. Just eat any reversal they happen to go for. Block once in a blue moon if you feel like it. Um, I've had that exact fucking plan myself. That's like how the bat fighting game worked, if you didn't know. Not only that, but um, um, that's actually how P Rio's parry works in the King of Fighters series, which is where I got the idea. That would probably, one of people's problems with Street Fighter 3 in general is that fucking the mix-ups are too fast. Even though they're not really. But like people would think that would be even faster. In my fighting game that doesn't exist, um, when you're parried, uh, it locks you in in a very fixed way so that the opponent always has five frames to do something. So if you have something that's five frames, like a light or a special move that's five frames, you can do that. I haven't decided if it's just going to be five frames plus the recovery of the move or just five fucking raw frames and then it recovers you no matter what. 
I think probably the latter. I think that you would need something to motivate the opponent to... If you had a system like that, you would need something where the parrier was much better off. Or else, like, why would, why would you parry? It would just put you into a mix-up scenario. Where you were no better than the opponent. They would need to make it so the guy who gets parried can only take a throw and can't offensively throw. Or that guy who gets parried, like, I don't know. Yotagawa says guaranteed punishes after parries, sometimes. Depends on what you parry. Being frame disadvantage is not that bad in third strike, even though a lot of attacks are frame disadvantage. Just purely because you can turn offense back around if you get a parry. It's a bit like a less risky version of Colleen's uh, counters. It's a fairly good example. If Colleen in Street Fighter V does something minus frames, even if even though she's minus frames, she can just parry your attack. Remy gives Q a hard time. The matchup was pretty bad, dude. Remy is Remy's bad for Q. Probably like a 6-4, maybe even a 7-3. Even though they're similarly, similarly tiered characters. Even though Q fucks Remy up. If they touch. It's actually really hard for like fucking a good rep for a good Q. For a Remy to get on a good Q. This is a relatively bad matchup too. These are characters who bully, who Remy bullies. I didn't notice that Remy was supposed to be like a reference to Yori, but now I can't not see it. <laughs> SNK style character design. It was a good corner escape. Then he immediately throws himself back into the corner. That was pretty good defense from the Remy. <gasps> but it's relatively easy to avoid that. So, Alex on some characters, if he, like, gets a point-blank super on them, I don't remember if cornered is a requirement, I think it is. Um, if he gets a point-blank super on them, um, he'll push himself to the range where the grab is a, an actual grab. Like, all four previous hits will whiff, and then the grab will just be in range. So you have to jump out for the last one. I haven't seen that happen in a long time. It's, like, a really easy to es escape, and it actually gets you a bigger punish anyway. But the danger is, if he doesn't push you to that range, the fourth swing might hit you, and that's... If you jump and the fourth swing hits you, that's a hard knockdown because it's a super that knocked you over. It does like no damage, but like you lose your punish opportunity and shit. Trade. Normally you can't see trades with supers and like buttons, but that was a fireball. Trading with a normal. Close run house. I wonder what the frame dead is on if the second hit whiffs. Cost run house is not a very good meaty, but it does hit people who are trying to high parry once, which is common against Remy, because his good meaties are like stay medium kick and stay medium punch, which are just a single high parry. People are happy to trade or lose. I should say happy to trade. I'd burn a bar and still trade just to get out of Alex's mix up. That being said, Remy's super one is like, you know. If you're gonna get up safely, you've got better ways of doing it, like blocking. This is another character that Remy's kind of a bully too. We're in fucking luck, dude. So, 
Remy's high fireball, Yurian has to block if he's crouching, but he can go under it if he like whiffs the crouch medium kick. But it's weird because the crouch medium kick isn't actually as long as the fireball. This matchup is probably even, but like, it's a very strange matchup. It looks like Remy's really strong on paper. Of course, Yurian's super does a lot of work, and Remy's supers don't. But like, still, it looks like it looks like Yurian has a really hard time getting in on Remy, doing anything. That's a really bad button to hit when you're fucking. The thing is, if you have your normals hit a mirror, they freeze you a little bit. It makes you easier to whiff punish because you got the hit stop on the mirror. You gotta be really careful about what buttons you hit when the mirror is in front of you. I probably have more matchup knowledge anti Yurian than fucking almost all players. I wish there was like a book of statistics that had shit like that. Very nice. Made him land on the low fireball. Look at this. Look at this fucking unrelenting Remy pressure. Add sequence. Oyster. Yeah, that's the matchup. But the thing is, like, even if you parry everything that Remy does, like, you don't get in. That's, like, the big key to Remy. Is that parrying is not enough in and of itself, even though it fucks him over pretty badly. Remy's meter build is just absolutely garbage. Uh oh. He was just far enough away the mirror that he didn't get unblockable. Can Oro do anything after a block? Cold blue kick. It depends on the range and the cold blue kick, but generally no. Um, I think Remy's minus afterwards, so the only thing he can do is take a massive risk on an EX DP. It's hard to parry on reaction, but it's not really that bad even if you... You can throw it. Throwing is decently a reliable punish. Or his fast buttons aren't that fast. His fastest, like, good button is the same medium kick, which I think is like 5 or 6 frames. I think 5. Five plus or minus one. Have you guys ever heard of uh, Oracle of Hours? It's apparently like a ROM hack of like the Zelda Oracle games. I've been thinking about playing through it. I didn't know there was a ROM hack. Like apparently a pretty good ROM hack. Apparently like it's just like a third version of the games. I doubt it adds like a unique item or anything. That's the one scenario! That's the one scenario where Elena's yet her super jump is actually really good. Cobra Kick has like a decent amount of active frames, yeah. It's got a sh long startup, but not so long that it's easy to react to. Connecting it deep is kind of hard. It's not that hard. Oof. I would say Elena has a general advantage in this matchup, but not a very significant one. And then the mirrors come out, and Yurian has a general advantage, but not a significant one. This matchup is pretty fair. I shouldn't say the mirrors come out, and Yurian has a general advantage. Yurian has a significant advantage on any character as long as there's a mirror on the screen. It'd be more accurate to say that he has meter and he has a general advantage because he's got the threat of, of super conversions off of a lot of stuff. This is immaculate Elena play. This is what Elena was put on this fucking game to do. That was some top tier annoying. Any chances of ballers? You mean like... What do you mean? Who knows? If there's a really, really good fucking player on these videos, I'll fucking highlight it. Playing an unusual character, particularly. 
プライドのかかった戦いになってるんですかね。そうですね。地方なめんなと。He wants the baby combo. I'm not even sure this is gonna kill. <laughs> he went for an absolutely undroppable combo. And literally got so much scaling he couldn't kill. Dude, that's some like that's like some task fucking material right there. Oh, he went for shenanigans. Um, Elena has a very unusual juggle box, juggling her box, so she falls out of combos all the fucking time. She like wiggles midair. My friend plays Zangief, and whenever he talks about something that Zangief can't do, he like makes it sound like so fucking impossible. He's like, yo man, I can't fucking... I can't punish this attack, it's just safe against Zangief. Talking about like fucking Colleen's daggers. But that's bullshit that fucking I only have a punish that only works sometimes, or like generally I don't get a punish when every other character does. Not that he was saying that, but he was, you know, it felt like that. Playing against him. I was just like, well, I guess Zangief can't do anything here. And then I talk about it to someone like fucking a long time. Uh. Long time Zangief main, like a uh, slime man, and they're just like, oh yeah, Zangief can't punish there, so I just go for the mix up instead. And they sound all confident and shit. The important thing to remember is any time that your character can't fucking, any time your character fucking sucks, um, you can play in a way that you fucking acknowledge their suckage in that area, play around it. Yeah, the mix-up is still good for Geef, but it's worse than a punish. Um, I think Elena's good in this matchup overall. It's hard to say. I would need to play it a lot. Dude, this fucking, fucking letter is so stupid. I'm right here. You guys don't need to write me a letter. Beth, I am can't suck cuck because sexy sloth is. I better actually find this in my box tomorrow. Healing. That could make this matchup a bad matchup. Nice. That's like a giant waste of meter. Didn't really matter there. Technically speaking, Alex can maximize damage by doing EX chop into Super 2, but the EX chop only does the first hit and doesn't add that much damage or stun at all. Um, it does do more damage than not having it. The thing is, none of his normal chops cancel into Super, or rather his medium and hard chop do, but you can't combo into them. The light chop does not. So, um, if you want to do like uh, Super, you have to do like just a medium kick raw Super, no special. Alex literally has no way of doing like, n like, like normal non EX special into super. Plum, quit cancering my fucking chat. Got Alexed. He had to do that to kill. Suplex was not enough. はい。赤ガエルさんの勝利。山戸さんそうですね。誠ですね。はい。これはですね。成長使えば誠有利なんですが、小さなみ使うとこれ荒れく有利なんですよね。はい。それもあの、徳永さん10年以上やっておりますん
ナイス剣ブロられたら膝レイド確定ですからねそしてこの根性値ですよ普通のキャラだったら死んでるけど全然生きてるというねこのえマグトンですえいやあの今初めて聞きましたけどはいはいはいほらこんなにこんなにボッコンされちゃうわけですああ That was cancelled to light OK This is Blakes これですよ一回鳥が通ったらもうリーチなんですよはい、yeah, I saw the update silhouettes. If KF14 ever comes out on Steam, wait, is that confirmed? Because if it's confirmed, then I will literally play it every day. Let's put it like this when KF13 was only on console, I never ever streamed it. And when it came out on、um, PC, I streamed it decently. Decently often. Nice. Oh, gotta be EX. EX's、uh, elbow's safe in this game, so I'm surprised he didn't just cancel into it just cause. I think K's made a shit ton of money based on their games on Steam, so I'm not surprised they'd fucking do KF14 on Steam. Look at that sick ass parry into punish. My favorite KOF character? To play is generally Kenzo. Alex is strong, man. Makagato is a really good Alex. My favorite KOF character to look at is probably K Dash. He's got a really cool design. k a d a s h is like exactly what I thought was cool when I was like 10. And like, even though I think he's kind of lame now, not lame, but like, it's, it's very try hard. But I, I find it amusing. I find it endearing for how try hard it is. Most Alex players treat DDT like it's not even a move in the game. Honestly, DDT can whiff against some characters.、Um, oh, gimmicks! 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 <laughs> MLG plays! I didn't remember when Alex won Co op Cup. My glorious days. It's Genki. ベガーを。ベガーは日本の名前のディクターです。なんか入った。あれ That wiggling. Could have shaken out in that time. Oh, that car throw. I saw that. Alex's car throw is pretty easy. Just towards hard punch plus throw. This fucking jumping. They look silly, but it's actually, like, even if Makoto predicts this, it's kind of hard for her to do anything significant to it. It looks like really dumb bad movement, but it's actually okay movement. Good punish. Last three characters are all in different costumes. この場所でガードしたらこれだと多分全部決めてきてますね。あ
I think it's safe to assume that one of them is Azam. Seeing as who we've gotten so far, and seeing that they've confirmed that Azam can fight. He could have got the knee off of that. Oh, could have come down with a full jumping combo. Got towards light kick going the wrong way. Neat. The correct punish. Hello, you stinky bird. I've seen that picture. How do I like my steak? I like medium. That's nice. これも全部全部読めてるのかななんかなんかなんかフルワザ出すワザ全部当たるみたいなやはりやはりこの七人目八人目俺もそんな最強のワザが欲しいんだけどあのあの社が未中間。That's dashing car throw. That was too. Dude, purged. Purged for liking medium well. I mean, for well done. Um, there's literally, I've done it many times. There's no way to reheat a burrito. A burrito is a one-time chance. If you're having burrito leftovers, you've just got to enjoy the entire thing as a lukewarm experience. You got hit by the second hit. Is that a failed parry or something else? やっぱこれ久しぶりに久しぶりに東西線来たとかって言ってましたが意外とやってっかもしれないですねサードストライクサードストライクやってる動きですねこれねあ飛びから飛びサードストライクあ飛びからだったかラザニアはメイドヘッ
、上からマスト、でもしっかり、なるほど、最強ですね、この技。だけど一回寝かされてさあこれはよしこれは狙い通りだったがちょっとピントリ前に入なかったチャッカーズ got a really good chance to come back さあこれはワンチャンあるのかマッソも体力リードナイス get parried still super that's how we play this game ですね this matchup is normally pretty bad too キャンセルのかかる技を埋めてそれをブロったときゲージがあるともう逆2択ですもんねこれは強いぞ赤カガエルさん He's playing very passive That was weird, that looked like a throw that got thrown さあここはうまいさっきで逃げて相手の前にいないよっここはでもうおマジ走ってくるさあ大パンが引っかかってさあリーチになっちゃったぞ There's some unfair complaints about Sakura but I think boring is probably an okay one She's usually extremely straightforward Damn I should have that overhead was a raging demon うまい守りも堅いぞ赤カエル先輩 I guess he would have ran out of all his bar おおこれは思わず Alex can't easily punish that Oh my god, I'm scared. I wanted to see a neutral medium kick there, but he didn't do one. Uh, it's not fair. Neat. He still got a DP there. It's a really tight combo. Air Tatsu and then first hit and last hit of hard ground Tatsu. And then you can juggle into instant Air Tatsu on some characters and DP on other characters. Sakura should even give Dan the time of day. Their entire premise is based on a lie. It's literally that Dan just claims to know Ryu when he doesn't. Let's see your revenge perfect. Ton of damage. That like more than evened it up. Good lord. Makuma bleeds. They need to turn up the fucking SNK memes on Dan. I need more SNK memes. Ouch, he's got super. Uh, it hurts. Oh my god, Makoto's the fucking stupidest character in the entire game. Did anyone see that but me?
That's what I'm talking about. Full KOF. Alright, that's cool. It's the perfect notification of this game. I think it's a very cool way to announce the perfect. Now I see a jump down towards Fierce from the chun -Li player. What button was that? Is jump medium punch? That whiffed towards Fierce would have stuffed pretty much any button that Makoto pushed, but also couldn't be parried because it didn't actually hit Makoto. And also if it stuffed anything it was confirmable to super because it was probably empty cancel at the fireball which then would have been reaction cancel into super. That's one of the reasons that Chun-Li is dumb. It's just fucking very low risk action with very high rewards. Caught a backdash or something. Good punish. Bad combo. Ah, the whiffed stand light kick. It's like a weird kind of special car. You can car the recovery. Not really a car anymore, is it? It is a cancel on nothing, which is extremely rare. He had more tackles if he saw it in time, but he didn't. Delayed low is really good because a lot of people block instantly low and then late overhead. Oh, that wasted a bunch of mirror time anyway. <laughs> he parried it. He didn't really have a good thing to do there. Blocking was probably the smartest thing. Nice. That was fucking actually really fantastic. That's often what it takes to win, and I know that, but I frequently like don't look for that. But like every now and then there's just like one very specific read that you could just or I was like that a lot. There's just one very specific read that if you get it you instantly win. That was an S plus right there. Dude, this is Roshi Hikari, I just read his name. This is fucking one of the best Yangs. This dude is a wizard. He always fixed the Sayambu Yang, and he knows all the Sayambu fucking hyper specific bullshit. I'm not sure if Yang has a single special, like, like a way to cancel into Super 3. I guess Palm. He has, like, no Super Cancels from his special moves. I'm 
that little kick target combo is really cool. Short forward roundhouse, really, really fast. Pino theoretically still plays, but I think he doesn't live around here. Sugiyama I haven't seen in a while. The taunt, that raises damage on next combo. Bit cheeky to go for a taunt like that. Normally you don't really have time for one. Other than um, post dizzy. That blue is very vibrant. I like that color a lot. I might be like it, Ken. I don't remember. Matsuken. I think Sugiyama is one of the three people who like went on to make that fucking thing, wasn't he? Who was it? Yethagross. Yethagross was like three people. It was like two KOF devs plus like a Capcom pro. But I don't remember who they were. I don't know if Sugiyama works at Capcom. That'd be pretty cool. Matsuken one free. Matsu Matsuken is the one who catches shit for being old. He's like well in he's like deep into his forties now. Matsuken is the fucking Papa Bai of Japan. Japanese third strike. Are we done? Looks like there's one exhibition left. Maybe not. No, it's just fucking. It's just the dummy beating up Ken. 